English Easy Practice. Do you want to learn English vocabulary faster? Want to have better listening comprehension and pronunciation? And boost your speaking skills quickly? Then, welcome to our new video to improve your English skills. In this video, we'll dive into a fun and interactive learning experience designed to improve your English speaking skills. Now, we will have a four part exercise Part 1 Listening Practice, Part 2 Vocabulary, Part 3 Listen and Answer Practice, Part 4 Shadowing Practice. Now, are you ready to train your brain to speak English fluently? Let's get started. Part 1 English Listening Practice In the first part, you'll listen to a conversation between native English speakers. Try to focus on the meaning of the conversation when you listen to it. This will help you understand real-life conversations better. Put off. Hey, Jake. Have you finished your homework? No, not yet. I keep putting it off. Why? Is it too difficult? Nah, it's just boring. I'd rather play video games. I get it. But you know, the longer you put it off, the more stressful it'll be later. I know. I know. I'll do it eventually. How about we do it together? We can make it more fun. Hmm, that might actually help. Thanks, Sam. Let's get started now. Great. We'll finish in no time. Yeah, and then we can play some games guilt-free. Exactly. Let's not put it off anymore. Agreed. Thanks for the motivation. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button to receive more like it in the future. Part 2. Learn Vocabulary Now, let's explore some new words together in our vocabulary section. I'll explain a few words and use them in example sentences to help you grasp their meaning easily. Vocabulary Put off. To delay doing something, to postpone or defer an action. Example. Jake keeps putting off his homework because he finds it boring. Would rather. To prefer one thing over another. To express a choice or preference. Example. Jake would rather play video games than do his homework alone. Grammar tip. Double comparatives. Double comparatives are a way of emphasizing the relationship between two things or actions often indicating that one thing increases or decreases in proportion to the other. In English, this structure typically uses the before both comparatives. Here's a breakdown of the structure using your sentence as an example. The longer you put it off, the more stressful it'll be later. The longer you put it off. This part compares the length of time something is postponed, put off, to another time frame. 
the more stressful it'll be later. This part compares the level of stress at one point, later, to another point in time, suggesting that as the delay increases, the stress also increases. Here are a few more examples of double comparatives using the and the. The more you practice, the better you'll speak English. The less you put off, the more time you'll have for relaxation. The faster you run, the sooner you'll reach the finish line. Part 3. Listen and answer practice. Time for some interactive practice. Listen carefully to the questions I ask about the conversation. Try to answer them out loud before I reveal the correct answers. This will boost your speaking and listening skills. Repeat this exercise every day until you can say the answers quickly and confidently. Answer the questions out loud. Hey, Jake, have you finished your homework? No, not yet. I keep putting it off. Why? Is it too difficult? Nah, it's just boring. I'd rather play video games. Is Jake done with his homework? No, he isn't. He hasn't finished it yet. Why hasn't Jake finished his homework? Because he keeps putting it off. Why does Jake keep putting off his homework? Because he finds it boring. Does Jake find doing homework exciting? No, he doesn't. He doesn't find it exciting. How does Jake think about doing homework? He finds it boring. What does Jake prefer doing instead of doing homework? He prefers playing video games. Would Jake rather play basketball? No, he wouldn't. He wouldn't rather play basketball. What would Jake rather play? He'd rather play video games. I get it. But you know, the longer you put it off, the more stressful it'll be later. I know. I know. I'll do it eventually. What does Samantha say about putting off homework? She says it will be more stressful later. How about we do it together? We can make it more fun. Hmm, that might actually help. Thanks, Sam. Let's get started now. Who suggests doing the homework together? Samantha does. She suggests doing the homework together. Does Jake agree to do the homework together? Yes, he does. He agrees to do it with Samantha. Does Jake find Samantha's suggestion helpful? Yes, he does. He thinks it might help. Great. We'll finish in no time. Yeah, and then we can play some games guilt-free. What do they plan to do after finishing the homework? They plan to play video games guilt-free. Exactly. Let's not put it off anymore. Agreed. Thanks for the motivation. 
Do they both agree not to put off the homework anymore? Yes, they both agree not to put it off anymore. Is the conversation between Samantha and Jake positive or negative? It's positive. They motivate each other to do their homework. Part 4. Shadowing Practice Lastly, we have the shadowing practice. Read your lines out loud after the speakers as they talk in the conversation. Focus on the rhythm and intonation of the English expressions and sentences. This exercise will sharpen your pronunciation and overall speaking abilities. Let's begin. No, not yet. I keep putting it off. Nah. It's just boring. I'd rather play video games. I know. I know. Yeah, I'll do it eventually. Hmm, that might actually help. Thanks, Sam. Let's get started now. Yeah, and then we can play some games guilt-free. Agreed. Thanks for the motivation. Hey, Jake. Have you finished your homework? Why? Is it too difficult? I get it. But you know, the longer you put it off, the more stressful it'll be later. How about we do it together? We can make it more fun. Great. We'll finish in no time. Exactly. Let's not put it off anymore. Great job on completing the English speaking practice. Keep watching this video every day for one week and repeat the exercises to see significant improvements in your English skills. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more helpful content. Happy learning! Thanks for watching, guys! Now, I recommend you watch this great video too. It will help you to improve your English skills, and you will love it, I promise.